Hi Pisces, thank you for coming to my channel. Uh, I'm Elsie and you've come to Ten of Cups Tarot. So if you haven't been here before, thank you for clicking here. Um, you may just want to subscribe by the time uh, this reading is over. Just look at the messages below. The All the messages and all the videos are just uplifting and wonderful. We have a wonderful group here. So all 15,000 of us. <laughs> and uh, if you've been here before, thank you for coming back. It's you that keeps this channel open. It's you that gives me a reason to come back and give you these readings every couple of weeks. So um, I am going to now shuffle for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the sign of... Um, for the sign of Pisces. Oh, Pisces, I just want you to know that if you would like a, a personal reading based on your own energies, please look below. I'm having a sale for the month of March. And right now, um, I am up to date on my readings. So you could get one out in probably a couple of days. All right. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the sign of Pisces from the 15th of March to the 31st of March, please. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look for an overall energy. Let's look for an overall energy. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, March 15th to 31st. And we are looking at the Five of Pentacles. Somebody is feeling left out in the cold. Somebody is feeling as though they don't have any choices. They're feeling lack. Um, and the thing is, is when you look up, um, when you look up and around, you'll probably find some help. This person is you know, doesn't feel as though they have the power to help themselves out of their situation. But if they look behind them, there is a church and there will be someone willing to help if they ask. So make sure if you do need help, Pisces, that you do ask. By the way, I'm a Pisces moon, so I'm part of your Pisces club too. All right, let's do five cards for the initial energy or the energy that is past. Actually, this is going to be a little bit in the past, a couple weeks in the past. You've been manifesting something. Somebody has been manifesting something. So let me take a look here. Got the magician on the bottom of the deck. First five cards. Let me take a look here. Hmm. I feel as though you you have found your person, Pisces. So congratulations if that's true. Um, yeah, okay. So I feel like there is uh, the Six of Cups here. I feel like this person is actually not just your person, but they are your soulmate. And I feel like this is going to end up in marriage. The Hierophants here, this is the card of Taurus. Um, cups, of course, are um, water, emotion. And um, the Six of Cups is, you know, Pisces, um, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't get that out. Anyways, so um, yeah, I feel like you're going to marry or want to marry your um, uh, want to marry your soulmate. Um, feeling a little defensive, are we? <laughs> well, I feel as I feel this. So um, let me think. Let me listen. Okay, so the person I'm speaking to is someone who has gotten out of a relationship a while ago and um, who is now headed into love with their, uh, headed into marriage and love with their soul mate. Although not everybody's in agreement with you. Not everyone's in agreement, and I think that's where this card comes. This card comes into you feeling left out in the cold, perhaps by some family members, some friends. Um, you may have left a, a union of some kind, either a common law or marriage, or you just were living with someone. You may have le left, a, left a union in order to be with your soulmate. And uh, the Seven of Wands is about feeling defensive. Now, these wands down here are things that actions people are taking against you, but you're taking the higher ground, right? Because that's what you do. You take the higher ground and you protect the things in your home. You protect, you know, you protect the things you love and um, you are ready to protect um, your love at any cost. I see here that there was the death of something. So I feel like it was your other relationship. I also feel like you turned into a completely different person. That ending the other relationship might have been cumbersome living within that relationship. And now you're completely different. You're a completely different person from who you were back in that other relationship, whether it was a marriage or, or whatever your tie was. But you have... Uh, experienced a death of sorts, uh, not only a death to the relationship, but also a death to um, uh, who you were. And I think that you've emerged to be someone who's very balanced, someone who is um, always in temperance, someone who's really careful about the things that they say to themselves. And by taking care of yourself, then um, you are, you know, you're, you're quite balanced. So good for you. 
That is great. Good, good, good. Okay, Pisces, let's go to your current energies. There's two. I need three more. You don't want to go in. Three more. There we go. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, what I have on the bottom of the deck is the three of pentacles, which is, um, could be, you know, could be, a, um, three of pentacles is partnership. So it could be partnership in love or partnership in money, partnership in business. Um, I am showing a nine of swords to come out first. And so this, this, this union that you're about to, to enter into is a good union, but you still have stress about it. You're still up at night thinking about the things that happened, the things that, that, um, you know, the, the things that broke your heart. Um, and those things are giving you stress and anxiety. So if you're having that kind of, if you can't sleep because of your stress and anxiety, it's good to speak to someone about it, a professional. Um, I feel like your new spouse and your, and your old spouse are at odds. And I feel like they're at odds because they're very different. One is um, about speaking their mind. They don't care who they hurt. And the other one is about passion and is very passionate about you. So I think I see, I feel as though these are two separate energies that are, that are both interested in you. Um, but I think one is, uh, one is the past and one is the present. Um, you just want to be kind and balanced and go with the flow. And you just want to, um, spread your love onto people, right? The queen of cups, that's who you are. Uh, whether you're male or female, because we're not reading gender. But um, I do see that the Knight of Wands here and the Knight of Swords, they are essentially facing each other. It's almost like a face-off. That's what I feel. I feel the tension of a face-off. Like one, one person is trying to cause problems and the other person is trying to deflect the problems from you. And so that's causing you to feel left out in the cold. Um, I feel like the new spouse and the old spouse have been at it. And all you really want is to go with the flow. You just want things to work out. You don't want the fighting anymore. And I think it's stressing you out, whoever you are. I think you, it's stressing you out. Um, yeah, you, your heart's broken and you can't think and you can't sleep. Okay, let's go to the future. See what the future has for you. Five, four cards for this future to start with. You've been working really hard. Wow. You've been working really hard to, to get out of that relationship that you were in. And <clears throat> now it's all a bed of roses. Look, you were fighting to get out of there. You were fighting to get out of that relationship because that person there, that person there with the smug look on their face, I think you were done with that junk. So um, I feel like you were working really hard hard to get out of that relationship it's the eight of pentacles and that brought you to the ten of cups so um you are once you get through this bad hard energy look at this look at that ten of cups in love and this is intended love as we started out the reading saying that this is your person right your your soulmate so um you have found this soulmate and you are not giving it up no way no how even if you have to go through this really painful ending with the last the last person you were with, you don't care, but you're you're hanging on tight. You're hanging on tight and you're not going anywhere. Good for you. You've worked really hard for this. You worked really hard to get out of a, a relationship that wasn't good for you. I'm not saying it was abusive or anything like that, but it just wasn't good for you. And that person didn't want to let you leave. So you've been working really hard over the last little while to try and get your try and get you out of dropped a card of course uh try and get you out of um that bad energy i don't know but i don't see so many people dropping cards like me <laughs> it feels like they're trying to get away okay so that one was face up so i took it and we need two more cards please for the future sun moon rising venus and jupiter for the sign of pisces please 
from the 15th of March until the 31st of March. Yeah, I got you hanging here. Hanging here, trying to look at things from a different perspective. But you know what the fact is? It is what it is. <laughs> and that's all it is. It is what it is. What do you do? If the, if the ex is going to be angry with you, there is really no way you can get around it. Stop wasting your time. People are only going to be able to understand the things you say with the intellectual that they have. So if this person is not on the same page because they don't get it, then you need to stop talking about it. Um, I think that you want clarity um, and it would be good for you to have clarity. Um, I also feel as though you didn't want to make a decision, but you finally did. And that oh, gave you a lot of options, gave you a lot of options. And, you know, that's how it is sometimes when you when you get out of a relationship, you felt like you would have no options. Nobody's going to want you. You're too old. You're too this. You're too that. But no, all it does is brings you more options. <laughs> All right, two more cards for the future, please. Yeah, you made a decision, and that's why you've got all those options. Good for you. Wow, boom, just like that. Whoa, tower, holy smokes. Tower, the wheel, boom, you close the chapter. Holy smokes. So yes, you are going to go through a tower moment. You know, of course you are. I mean, trying to get out of a relationship where you didn't want to be and then carrying on with your soulmate is is of course a tower moment you know you have to get everything in order um the wheel of fortune is moving in your favor and then you are going to close this chapter and carry the hell on good for you good job that's it don't look back there you're not going that way right moving forward all of us moving forward yeah hermit mode there we go you go into hermit mode you make your decisions know that your decisions are good and well thought out and uh, this is the card of Virgo, by the way. We've got the, the world and, and the Wheel of Fortune. I think your, your, um, your walls are going to be up for a while. You've been standing around waiting for the last strike. And um, I think that... Let me listen for a moment. You're going to move forward because that is your destiny. That's what I just heard. That is your destiny. That's why you're moving forward. You had to, if you had not gotten out of this relationship at a time when you should have, um, you would have been thrown the tower card and it would have been gone anyway. So regardless of what you would have done, this is your destiny. You're to move forward with someone else, with your soulmate, in fact. So good job for you, bravo, that you didn't resist it because it becomes so much harder when you resist it. Okay. That is all I have for you, Pisces, and um, I am going to leave it there. If you do need a reading uh, based on your personal energies, I am open for readings right now. I'm right caught up, so you can get a reading probably in two or three days. And uh, if you'll please just uh, look down below. There are some sale pricing on for March. So um, if you have any questions that you'd like to answer personally, please let me know. And I'm going to go. Bye.